During CES, we heard that Toshiba was showing off what was likely one of the most exciting SSDs we've seen in a long time. Remember, one of the major complaints about SSDs, and particularly NVMe-based drives, is that they're terribly expensive, and that was held back by their acceptance into the market. Okay, so the NAND shortage from the last two years has also contributed to increasing costs, but that's another conversation for another time. One of the main issues with today's SSDs is that drives are booked ended into two extreme ends of performance. There's the SATA based drives that have acceptable read and write speeds, while the other end holds extra high performance NVMe products. Finding something in the middle ground for an affordable price is extremely challenging. But what if I told you that Toshiba has come up with an NVMe drive that offers performance levels that blow SATA out of the water and they're also aiming to offer it for SATA level pricing. Now, what if I also told you that the way it's being built means it could be immune to the massive pricing fluctuations uh, we've seen over the last 24 months? Well, it's time to stand up and take notice because this is the new RC100. But before I get into that, I wanna give a huge shout out to Fantex, Corsair, and Cooler Master for sponsoring our CES 2018 coverage. It may not mean much to look at, but the RC100 may change the SSD space in a pretty big way when it launches a bit later this year. Not only does it use an ultra compact M.2 2242 form factor, but Toshiba has managed to pack capacities of 120, 240, and 480 gigabytes into that small form factor. And the price? The aim is to offer it for 50 cents per gigabyte or less, and for that price, it will likely deliver about double the theoretical speeds of the fastest SATA based SSD. That's simply amazing. So how did Toshiba accomplish this? By packing their 64 layer 3D by cs flash memory and controller into a tiny unified package. There aren't any individual NAND modules and instead of DRAM for caching purposes, they're using a unique host memory buffer technology that ensures the drive remains fast over time. All of that is crammed into a chip that's almost the size of a fingernail or a water bottle cap. Even the power consumption is drastically lower than other separate NAND plus controller setups due to the unique design. Because of performance metrics that are a bit lower than other high-end NVMe drives, heat production is reduced as well. Also, don't forget that it will be covered with Toshiba's excellent three-year warranty, something that has been held over from the OCZ days. The number of use cases for the RC100 is almost infinite because it can be easily adapted to anything from high-end gaming PCs to the smallest thinnest laptops. I can actually see it being very popular as a way to get fast storage uh, into both Ryzen and Coffee Lake systems or add in as a quick drop-in upgrade for notebooks with an open NVMe slot. The other item Toshiba showed was the XS700 portable SSD. It seems like everyone is coming out with one of these and I have to say I don't think this one will be much different. Though pricing is supposed to be very aggressive, basically it uses a durable soft touch metal frame that fits perfectly in the palm of your hand along with a USB 3.1 Gen 2 interface. In order to keep costs down while also offering great performance, the internal SSD runs on a SATA interface, so despite the Gen 2 connector, speeds will be up to 530 megabytes per second and 480 megabytes per second for writes. Supposedly, it can also withstand a two meter drop onto concrete surfaces as well, so that's pretty awesome. So that wraps up our time with Toshiba, and I really hope you guys are excited, just as I am, about the RC100. Uh, it really could be a game changer in a market that has been waiting for a long time for some affordable excitement. I'm Ebo with Hardware Connects. Thank you so much for watching. Stay subscribed for more CES coverage, and we'll see you in the next one.